So BMW motorcycles are going to come out with a clutchless system for their motorcycles and first starting off with a GS1300. But do we even really want it? Let's get into it. Hello, welcome to Revelate Alpha. I hope you're well. If you like what I do here, don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications bell for all future videos. So BMW Motorrad motorcycles, well, they, they've come out with a brand new clutchless system for their motorcycles. And maybe this will be expanded to other motorcycle uh, models as well. But it seems as if they're going to launch with the, the GS1300 as an option, at least. Now, BMW have called this clutchless system, if you like, the Automated Shift Assist or Assistant. The the ASA. Great. My BMW is fitted with ASA. You're like, great. Just something else that could easily go wrong. Now, are BMW the first manufacturer to come out with a clutchless type system? No, of course not. You look at many other manufacturers around the world, and obviously in the bigger bikes, yeah, there's only a few. But certainly in the smaller bikes, well, this has been happening for years, hasn't it? In many ways, you know, twist and goes, this kind of thing. So, from that point of view, it's not necessarily new a new idea or a new concept. Obviously, BMW are bringing it out as this, this new thing, this new option. But the question is, do you even want it? Do you even need it? And I've ridden a, a few bikes with, a, you know, a clutchless system as well. And the, it, 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 you know, it's not it's not something that I think is something that I would necessarily want. I could definitely see the, the the benefit of it. And I definitely could see how in some circumstances, some riders will definitely find some use for it, right? But from my point of view, not only about riding motorcycles, but also this, it's the manipulation of the controls. It is that feeling that you're doing something. Now, if we look to let's say electric motorcycles, there is very much this twist and go, right? And it almost seems if there's a little bit of a, a transition here in terms of this feeling that, that riders will have in terms of manipulation and controls, you say, well, with petrol bikes, let's say, you have to do it, clutch and brakes, and you know you have to twist and away you go. Electric bikes, you don't have that clutch, right? So it's almost like there's they're giving us this pathway, this transition pathway into electric bikes, into the future. This is like just a, a temporary step. Now, the question is to say, do you even want it? Do you even want to have this transition step? Do you need it? If you want a petrol bike, of course, you just want that petrol bike. Now, the question is, will these systems, not only BMW, the ASA, or any other bike, with a clutchless system. Do they give you the same authority? For me, I don't think they do. Now, some others might totally disagree. The ones that I've ridden, I just don't think they give you the same authority. They just don't give you the same riding sensation. Electric bikes are different in terms of you twist to go and the power is there and away you go. Whereas petrol bikes, it's a, to it's, it's a different system. And I think there's a bit of a lag there as well. Not always, but I think there's a bit, especially at slow speeds and especially in the way you can control the motorcycle. So I'm not sure this is the way they should be going. Now, it doesn't mean that they shouldn't offer this as an option. They shouldn't. It doesn't mean that yeah, some people might not find this a benefit. Of course, of course they, they would. But I'm saying just from my point of view, riding a motorcycle is not just sitting on twisting and steering. It is this manipulation of controls. It is what you do with your feet as well. And this is why I suppose I'm not anti-electric bikes, as many might perceive that I am. I'm not at all. I think they're great for the lower power bikes. I'm not sure for the higher power bikes in terms of value as well. But also that riding sensation. I just don't feel that I would have it as, as much with electric bike that I have with a petrol bike. Now, we, if we, let's say, go into the middle ground where I'm kind of putting these clutchless bikes in now, then, then I think, well, that's that's where I'm at. I, I kind of fear that we're losing a little bit of it. So, what? look, technology, I love new technology, and I love it when they bring out new technology. And I, and I think for some people, this will be great. This will be a fantastic thing. Now, look, I could be quite flippant in terms of, you know, people's mobility, to people's ability to handle uh, different bikes, you know, in different characteristics, let's say, or what they can do, and maybe a clutcher system will work and all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to do that because I definitely see the benefit of this for some people. 
But I'm saying if you're that kind of person who you are able to and you really like that manipulation, the controls, I mean, it's almost like it's almost like a bit of a science, right? It's almost like that you want to have, OK, if I do this little bit with a clutch and then I add a bit of throttle and then I can feel where it's biting. And, it, you know, it's that sweet science of riding a motorcycle, that being in control and the manipulation of these controls, those fine margins. That, for me, is what motorcycling is about. It's not necessarily just sitting on something that you twist and, it, you know, it just goes. There's something, there's got to be a greater connection uh, with it. And that's many, I'm sure many people agree. There is there is something else. So sometimes you can't put your finger on, but it's this, this, this marriage between human being and machine. And it's like you you've got to have both working with each other in order for this this unity to work properly. If it, if it isn't, if it's missing a little bit, missing a couple of cogs here and there, it doesn't seem to quite right in terms of a holistic experience. I know I'm getting a bit spiritual here, and I know, but maybe some of you can understand where I'm coming from. This is not a slight on BMW in terms of their their technology. I suppose it's the it's a slight or a question on this transition pathway from full manipulation of controls to you know like a halfway house to when you go into electric where you know it's just like a twist and go type thing. Let us know your thoughts in the in the comments below. But do we really need this from BMW? Some might say yes. I would say no. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like what I do here, don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notifications bell for future videos. And I will catch you again on another video coming very soon. But BMW with their automated shift assistant, ASA, not for me. Catch you again. Bye now.